You're tuned in to the Big Sky Brewing Company Brews Letter for March 2011. And this is our family of beers. Moose Drool, Scapegoat, Montana Trout Slayer, Big Sky IPA, and of course our seasonals, Summer Honey, Powder Hound, Heavy Horse Scotch Ale, and the newly released Cowboy Coffee Porter. Stay tuned for upcoming events and specialty beers available now at Big Sky Brewing Company. Hey Chris, how are you? I'm great Alex, how are you? Great. Well Chris and I are here to tell you what's happening in and around Big Sky Brewing Company this month. We also want to let you know about some great events that we're involved with that you might want to check out. That's right, and it's been a heck of a winter Alex, but luckily we've had our Imperial Stout Ivan the Terrible to get us through the winter. This has been its most popular release to date, and you can still find it at a couple locations, so keep your eyes open. Also, this spring, due to popular demand in the fall, we're bringing back Heavy Horse. People said, bring back that beer, bring back that beer, and we are. So look for Heavy Horse. Most importantly, it's March, and March means St. Patrick's Day. For St. Patrick's Day this year, our first limited Montana release of the year is going to be an Irish Stout. This Irish Stout is malt driven, has a sharp roasted flavor, also smooth yet complex and has a really nice hot finish. Let's take a look. Kelly hump. Whoa, what are you doing there, Chris? I know what you're thinking. I'm pouring this wrong. Actually, I'm not. And we brought in our sales manager, Mike Mans, to show you how to pour a beer out of a glass bottle. Hey Mike, how are you? Hey Chris, how hey are you? Mike. Good how to are see you. Good, how are you? So, it looked kind of crazy what, what Chris was doing there, but there's a, there's a rhyme. Oh wait, feels like a Chinook. So, you take the glass, in the old school you would tilt it, you would make this slow, yeah. long, unnecessary pour. You want to create a, a rich, dense, rocky head mm -hmm. that melts back into your beer. As those small bubbles pop, a good beer does take time to pour. As those small beer, as those small bubbles pop, it releases the aroma uh, mm. of, the, of the hops and the barley uh, back into your palate. You know, a, a lot of how you taste a beer is olfactory driven. So it's, it's a lot of uh, retro nasal, uh, aroma, uh, scent driven uh, aspect that may, makes up the, the flavor of a great tasting beer. And look how creamy and rich and intense <laughs> that beer is. I like it. Just Perfect. Took, just what do you think? Just a couple of seconds longer. Looks great. You've got a great beer. Enough of this tilting the glass stuff. Let's tilt it. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to you. Stay tuned for a word from our sponsors. In addition to the great beers that we have in March, we also have some fun events that we think you should check out. Starting March 5th in Arizona, it's the Arizona Brew Fest. It's the Southwest's largest brew fest. It's in Tempe. Visit azbeer.com for more information. Then on March 19th, we have the Winter Brew Fest up in Whitefish, Montana. It benefits the snow bus, should be a good time. And then also on March 19th, we have the Bavarian Downhill Race at 49 degrees north ski area. It, let's just say it involves a little beer drinking, a little costumes, and a little skiing. Should be fun. That sounds fun. Yeah. So stop by and visit us at the tap room. Or visit us online at BigSkyBrew.com. Cheers. Cheers.